Kurdi Jama neka ci UK, Europe, US, Canada, Switzerland ak adina wongal kep ak suñu yone kay xaliss bu maga bi nga xamne dafa wor gaaw te nopalé fi ci bir Gambia. Suba sonex money transfer ñu ngi ci ñetti fuk ak ñent de ka ci bir Africa ngir jox leen melowaay yu gën ci jottum xaliss bi nga xamne kenn du ko lam lamé. Setu len ñu ci Google Play Store wala App Store ngir mëna bind ci suñu app bi di Suba sonex money transfer app da ngeen mëna banexu ci suñu money transfer services yi ay mbek te rek la ak Suba sonex. no table here they are writing on the floor so it seems that they need the tables so master so them on the phone yeah, uh, yeah. Need, need, yeah. As, as you rightly said mm -hmm. we need a serious assistance you see the children this are great too it is necessary for them to come back to and, and help our own people government cannot do all government cannot do all we should all put our hands together to make so that our communities are developed. Farafanya's development is not only left to the politicians and government, but having a big heart for the Gambia, true sons of Farafanya like Yusuf Atunkara and Pa Usman Juf created job opportunities for youths. Another episode of the Youth Band Tabar Show live on Gambian Talent TV, and I am Aisa Tukuli. On today's Youth Band Tabar Show, I have um, um, an amazing young person who has been playing football all his life, and he also represents the Gambia um, on the under 20 level to Senegal and then to Mauritania. And he is currently playing for BK Milan. And a lot of people enjoy seeing this league playing football especially in the um, Division League One um, of the GFF. So I'll just allow him to introduce himself before we start the program proper. Welcome to the Youth Bantaba Wali. Thank you so much. Yeah, I would love to introduce myself. At first, I think everybody knows who is this Wali Fofana sitting over here, you know. As you know, if even you don't know me personal by my name, you, you have been added in the government football GFF Football League, you know, as you know, many people are as following now the league and it's going higher and higher, you know. And for me, it's going cool, you know. For me, I think already everybody knows who is Wally Fofana. So I don't need to go to deep on that side. I would love to list in the question, then I will allow to answer many as I can. So we can start from there, I think. Thank you. Amazing. And um, you have said that a lot of people know you. Kula de gutsa, wala kila kula gisutsa de ganala. And lolo ne kana lo hamne ham. A lot of people know Wali. Of course, hamne sa de gut wala gisutla. So go ahead. Like the person is playing for BK Milan. They never ne. Oh, okay. Hamne ko. So legi, uh, tell us your educational background. Four doors, the primary school, junior school, better um, senior school. Yeah, for me, I think like I told you, many have been following me on that. Mm -hmm. You know, also you know, it was so, it it was a journey for me. You know, it was not that bad because, you know, I was having big time support from my father. You know, and I lost him last year. You know, I think I should say I I should pray for him. You know, already mm -hmm. by saying rest in peace, daddy. You know. Mm -hmm. And you know he was supporting me big time on my education, same as my brothers, same as my family. You know, I was an Arabic school student from there. I went to a junior school, Talinding from there also, and Latirkonda school. Okay, you know, I graduated at Saint Augustine Senior Second School. Mm -hmm. So I think from there, by playing Navetan, from the Navetan to third division team called a football hero. I was the player for Football Hero, you know, I was playing there. From there, I moved to Real de Banyul, you know. I think everybody knows me at Real de Banyul, you know, even though it was a tough journey for me to compete a lot. I was, I spent all of my youth career at Real de Banyul. Unfortunately, you know, it could not work. Mm -hmm. 
on the right track was, you know, like what I wish for. But for now, I think from there I move. I moved to a generation food. I spent a little bit four months there. You know, I was having family issues, so I came back to Gambia. You know, mm. now I'm a big Milan player, and I'm playing for a big Milan first league, mm. first division Gambian football federation. Yeah. Amazing. So what motivated Wally to become the player that he is becoming now? Because we know a lot of eyes are on you, a lot of media has been talking about you, a lot of people has been saying, um, Kida for Moon Football, Lula motivate. Yeah, for me, the words people have been saying, you know, all over around the whole Gambia, mm. many be like, yeah, Wally Stala, Kuko Deguta, Hamga, Gisnako, many, you know, Self, you know, before, bef even if, even when we come in, before to start the game, mm. I see, I get, I see love from people, you know, many been coming like, you know, Nigel Pichon, Hamwa, stuff like that. For that, only for me, for me, only that is more than a motivation. Mm. Yeah, because there's nothing tax, there's nothing like tax goals, there's nothing more than a goal, tax that a goal you set for yourself, you know. Right. So when you set the goal that you, you want to reach the goal, mm -hmm. I think there's nothing more than a tax for that. So for me, you know, the fans, the loved ones, the family, you know, and my team also, you know, I get the motivation. I, I get highest motivation from the team, mm -hmm. same as from my family. So I think for me, you know, there's nothing more than a motivation. You know, there's nothing more than that even. Amazing. Uh, so we have seen Wally also played for the Nawetan teams, the likes of Milan FC, and then went to Football Hero. And also you made mention of you played for Real de Banjun. And how is it like playing for one of the biggest club in the Gambian mm, football league, uh, like Real de Banjun? Yeah, for me, it was normal for me because, you know, Real de Banyol is the greatest team in Gambia in football league, you know. And I spent the whole of my career there. Mm. Even though it was a difficult journey for me there, you know, to have more time to show out who I am before, you know. But though I was so, I was too young mm. and I was playing likes of Alajiba, you can have likes of Steve. Mm. Yeah. So, you know, it was it was but it's it's, it's normal for me and it's something that you know I have already passed, mm -hmm. so I don't want to be like think think about Real de Banjul anymore, mm -hmm. even because I have already passed that level. So for now, I'm a BK Milan player and a proud BK Milan player for now. Mm -hmm. So I think for me, I'm okay and I'm happy to part of BK Milan. So and the team, you know, they all love me. You know, when they come to Bakao with the fans, they appreciate me. Right. BK Milan, the team, the coaches. You know, the president of the team, you know, the CEO, Osman Drame, known as Cho, Cho. you know, he always motivated me, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, so A lot for of me, things. yeah, so for me, Amazing. that's enough uh, for me. We've also heard in scenarios, we are asked, uh, a lot of people said that Gambian football um, clubs do normally frustrate their players to an extent they end up leaving the team to go to another team. What's your reaction to that? Yeah, you know, in football, it's at everywhere. You know, you went to, you might think here is the best club for you, while it's not. Yeah. So, when so ever you feel that you in this team, you know, you not, you not, you not, you you don't have the chance to show up who are you. I think to move to another club to show who are you, to show the whole nation that you are the best or you can do better than being other team that you know you you could not have that time to play mm -hmm. so i think for me as a footballer you need that strong mentality that you know to motivate yourself mm -hmm. to be the person who are you mm -hmm. that you set a goal even though the obstacles can be you know on your way right. you know by either either by easy or difficult right. But you just need to face that tax, you know, know that there's ahead of you even too, mm -hmm. so everywhere, so ever you went to, and you will go to. So I think that's normal for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think players also need to 
took that responsibility, that, that mental, they need to be strong mentally, you know, to have that belief. Mm -hmm. Like, look, look at all of them, why should it be failure? Yeah. Know? So, I think for me it's normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, not only you say, Tamit, um, you know, you have made mention of playing for Generation Foot, which is also one of the biggest teams in Senegal. So, um, what's the difference between the Senegalese League and the Gambian League? No, the Senegalese League is like, for me, I, I did not, I did not, I did not experience a lot in the league mm -hmm. there, cause I could not have time to play mm -hmm. much more in Senegalese League, even to play a league game there, mm -hmm. cause. I went there for a trials and they took me, they kept me there, I was there for four months, mm -hmm. you know, but I could not play the preparation before the end of the preparation for me, then I have a family issue, so I came back home, so I could not experience a lot in Senegalese League, but I understand a little bit that, you know, there's a little bit difference, mm -hmm. but for us in Gambia, we think, you know, we have much more better players than even Senegal. Mm. Yeah, and many be seeing that. And for me, there are no doubt. We have a lot of talent. Mm. And we can do better at any level. So if I could even stay there, I would have to play. And I will show people who I am. Mm. So I think it's all the same to come back to your home nation and try to push your nation as well to represent your nation as well as you represent your team, you know. So we we all under Gambia. So I think that's I think. amazing coming from a young league like um, you, because we've seen the the on the 20 that went to Mauritania and Senegal. We have a lot of amazing players out there with a lot of talents, and uh, we have seen you guys compete against teams that are more um, powerful than you guys. But then the strength and teamwork was there. So I think it's it's also important. And um, since you have started playing football, how is it like, um, you know, going up and down, struggling? Uh, where are you having family support from family, friends, and close relatives? Yeah, for that matter, you know, for me, the love and the support I get from my parents, mm. I think is the best motivation for me. Because who knows my father? You know, mm -hmm. he's a football lover before, yeah. you know, he support Manchester United. And he always told me that, you know, whensoever you got the belief that you can do this, you're going to be the best. And I always told him that, you know, I can do better in this game. Mm -hmm. So same as my mother, though she did not know much about football, mm -hmm. she did not understand a lot. Mm -hmm. But she know that, you know, I'm a football player, you know. And they did not disturb me. They never disturb me whensoever I have to go to training, whensoever I need to play a game. You know, same as to my stepmother. Mm -hmm. You know, they all pray for me to be that high level. You know, so I think that support only is more than you know motivation. Mm -hmm. You know, so talkless of friends and family and the loved ones, and you can see there, there there's a lot of fans. Mm -hmm. You know, supporting me all over. You know, so I think. You know, I get the motivation that I need from the fans, mm -hmm. the family, the loved ones. So I myself, I need to motivate myself much more to do much better, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, what are some of the challenges you came across getting to where you are as a young player? Yeah, obviously it was, you know, it was tough mm -hmm. in another way around. Like I told you, I spent all of my career in the biggest club in Gambia, Real mm. I could not have that much time to play. Mm. Yeah, when I think of that sometimes, you know, it's like, wow, I was not in the right track. Yeah, maybe also I was not having the luck, you know. Mm. But, you know, as now, you know, I struggle all that, you know, difficulties, I face everything, the criticize, I had a lot of things, a lot of talk, a lot of, you know, you know, negative vibes against me. Mm -hmm. You know, people be like, ah, no, be serious with mm -hmm. definitely. But I was so mentally strong, yeah, because I motivate myself, mm -hmm. you know, because this is what I want to do, and I can do this better. Whensoever I got the chance, a single minute chance, I will show out who I am, mm -hmm. you know, because I always have the belief that I can do better. Mm -hmm. I can be the best player that I wanted. 
and to show out people who I am. So whenever I got the opportunity, I will show out. So I never stop from training. I never relax, you know. I keep playing football. I keep balling. I keep praying until today. So the difficulties has been passed, you know. Maybe there's more ahead, mm. but it's all come from Allah, you know. I will be praying to Almighty Allah to make everything easier for me, you know, as the journey just begins. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm ready to face all the difficulties and the tax ahead coming as well. Amazing. So uh, we have also seen people say that Wali, the farm attitude, um, Wali, uh, attitude, I'm a motor footballer, but then he has attitude. What's your reaction to that? Yeah, a lot of people yeah, say that. Yeah, I know yeah, you yeah. had a lot of yeah, yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's even people, you know, calls me, tell me, telling me that, yo, so change your attitude, don't play football. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I, for me, I think it's all passed. Okay. Before, who knows me, you know, personal, you will be like, yo, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I know by myself, you know, those moments, mm -hmm. you know, I wanted to see my team, my family, my, 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 my coin, you know, everybody happy. Mm -hmm. So when I play, when I'm playing against a rival team, you know, never time those moments likes of playing against Medina, Bradford, yeah. etc. So those right. teams, you know, sometimes I, I try to provoke the players, the team, you know, just to get that win from them, mm. you know, just to make my people happy. Mm -hmm. But it was not an even bad intention or to do any other thing that may dis affect me in my football career. Because if you see, since I started playing the league, Gamel League, you would never have that, yo, they my wallet for Amor Red Card, no. Even yellow card is a problem. So I think for me, you know, those vibes I was hearing, you know, before, mm -hmm. you know, for me, I took all that as a motivation, you know. You know, I need to prove out. I need to do good. I mm -hmm. need to be my best, you know, so that people be like, yo, he's different. If I change, like you can learn. And since, you know, we came from the Afghan, yeah. I think people have seen that different. Yeah. So the thing, the, the Wali Fufana they had in before, and now, and now it's, it's kind of different, you know. So Amazing. Yeah. I love the new Wally Fofana that I am seeing now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, now that Gambian football lovers um, love so much about seeing you playing football, and now we have seen your team is struggling to be where they are. We know the Division League won the second. The second round is about to commence. So, um, and then how many goals have you scored for BK Milan so far? Four goals. Four. And what's the position of BK Milan? Ten. Ten? Yeah. Amazing. So uh, what are we expecting to see from Wadi during this second round? Yeah, for me, I think, you know, every league games, either by first round, second round, mm. you know, I took, I, took, I took personal responsibility, you know, when you come in time of to push BK Milan forward. Mm. You know, also I try to work with the team to push the team on the, on, on into the, the high level. Mm -hmm. Because if you see, you know, the, the, those moments, those, those, those years, last two, three years I've spent for BK Milan, mm -hmm. you know, I was trying to assist the team to get even, you know, we were not, you know, forgetting the league, but, you know, we never been in the relegation zone. Mm -hmm. So if you see this season, it's kind of difficult, you know. We in 10 position that, you know, a lot of Gambian people been saying, yo, BK Milan, when they play, what in your neck at that position? Mm. They, they have to be compete in to get the league because they have, you know, a lot of amazing stars players, young stars players, young talented players. Mm. You know, if you see the team likes of, you know, Buba Jame, he's a super quality player. Also, Simu Kurubali, the defender, when you come to a goalkeeper, we have Alaji. Saho, the national team goalkeeper, you know. So we have a lot of talent there, you know, the young stars like Demba Jalo, the brother of Ablai Jamano, also mm -hmm. Alassane Fai, a midfielder, you know, quality midfielder. So if you see BK Milan playing, whensoever you never watch our games, you come and see BK Milan play, you will be like, yo, he then not really compete for a league mm -hmm. because we have the quality, we have a lot of talent there. So even though it's difficult for us, Right now, mm -hmm. I think the first half, 
first round has gone. So the second round is coming. So we're trying to get the mental preparation, even though there are some changes, changes, you know, change of coach, coach yeah. you know, which is not concern, my concern for me. Mm -hmm. And if any coach came, you know, I yeah, would be ready to, to work, work with him, with him. Yeah. you know, just to achieve the level, the goals that team need mm -hmm. to be set for. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, every league, Ghanaian league teams right now, they, they will be getting much prepared for us mm -hmm. because they've been watching our game, seeing how we play. We lost a lot of uh, games in first round that we did not have to, you know, because, you know, we play a lot of, you know, we play much better than those games, you know, we lost, we draw. So the games we got to win, you know, at the end, you know, we, could, we, 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 we are not in the relegation zone, mm -hmm. but, and I think we can be on the relegation zone. Yeah. We, got to, we, we got to stay out there because we, we have the quality to move from there to see ourselves in a top level, top four, or even three, you know. Mm. So for me, I'm ready to assess the team. Yeah. So uh, when you came to BK Milan, were you signed contract? Were you given a contract? Yeah. How, I have an, how I have many a, years? I have a valid contract at BK Milan. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. So are you being paid? Yeah. Because, like because so I told a, a you. A lot of times like we, have, yeah. we, we had players saying, Amongst the team, we're doing Madeira Harris, you know, yeah, and just happened, going and coming. It's happening, yeah. you know. A lot of players have been saying that, you know, ah, and then they play football for our life, our career. Yeah. But you know, not for money. Mm -hmm. We playing football for money in a sense way. Yeah. If like Gambian level is not that level that you need to receive the salary from the team, mm -hmm. but you know, you whenever you get in the small thing there, I think you know that little money you get in from the team, you know. It sometimes motivates you. Right. Like when you go get home, you tell your mother that, you know, I get this from my club, you know. Okay, there's balance for you, father. There's balance for your stepmother, brothers, you know, families. You know, I think those prayers, those motivation, you know, you need it from the clubs. And the clubs also need to assist the players. You know, because Gambia, when you look at the teams, you know, we have a lot of talents in Gambian football. Right, that is so, so true. The youth level to up to top level, mm. you know, up to senior national team. So we have all the quality. But for me, you know, BK Milan, I got the best CEO, who's Usman Chodrame, mm. you know, a national team manager. Right. You know, he support me any, any, anyhow when you come to him football. So for me, I couldn't even tell you how, you know, he do for me, mm -hmm. talk less of salary. So for me, that's cool with me a lot of people say that Cho, Cho, Cho has been so supportive of Gambian young football players not even in BK Milan but outside BK Milan so I think that's a very good gesture from him yeah now let's talk about you representing you being selected to represent Gambia in Senegal and that's the Wafu under 20 tournament and also the AFCON under 20 tournament which was held in Britannia so um, how was it like, like um, at first to represent your country wearing the red, white, blue, white jersey in a major tournament like the Wafu first? For me, it was best ever for me, goals I set for my mm. football career. Amazing. It starts from there, the youth level. So for me, you know, it was super cool with me because, you know, that's what I play football for. You know, I would be like, yo, last season I was working harder, you know, because I had that, you know, the selection are coming. Mm -hmm. So I told myself that, yo, I'm going to be there. And, you know, a lot of people who knows me, they know that if I should stay here and compete in the league, every selection of Gambia, I will be part of it. Because, mm -hmm. you know, when you, come, when, you come, when you come to the talent, you know, mashallah. So for me, it's a gift, natural gift from Almighty Allah. Who knows me since I was young? I was too young. But, you know, to represent your nation, I think it's best ever, you know, you start to play football for. And that for me, it's best. And it was cool with me. I went with the team at Wafu, Zone A, at Senegal, you know, qualified from there to Afghan, to Mauritania. I could not play because I was injured. You know, it was not bad for me. Yeah. It was not bad because I was injured, even though the coach had to believe that, yo, he's injured, but we're going to take him to the tournament. 
So I was with them. I was with the team. I trained with them. I could not make it even a single game. But, you know, yeah, so ever you see me in the bench, sometimes I even get one more ball. A lot of your fans yeah, so were complaining yeah. Matan Boji was, was not playing Wali, but a lot of them also do not know what was the actual um, problem. So they were like, ah, the for you, Bo League, we require Nekuton to play, especially those from Talinding. Yeah, yeah. Everyone was complaining, like, Matan needs to give Wali the chance to showcase what he got. And uh, you did that during the Mauritania, uh, when, you, when you guys went to Mauritania. For the Afghan, yeah. Yes. So, um, Wally stumped the nation with his magical performance during the under-20 Afghan competition. And you have also been named in other countries, giving honorable mentions. How was it like? How does it feel? Yeah, it was, it was, it was so cool. I was so glad, you know. Yeah. And, you know, likes of... Like I told you, to represent your nation, there is nothing more than that, you know, in football career. Mm -hmm. You know, it was best moment that you represent your nation, right. you know, as a young player, you know, starting your career, you know, at the age of 18, mm -hmm. you know, about to turn to 19. So it was so cool with me. And, you know, I was, I was, I was like, yo, whenever I try to represent my nation, mm -hmm. I will try to fight, work for my nation. Maybe. You know, because I will make thousands of people smile. Mm. I will make thousands of people happy. Someday, obviously, you know, it's going to pace back. So, like they said, hard work pays off. Right. So, it was for me, for me, it was, you know, it was best. You know, I was trying to, you know, I was given chance b by the coach, like you just mentioned, Madame Butch. Mm. You know, he's, I, I, I could not say, I, I, I can't say he's the best coach in mm. Ghana, but, you know, among the best, mm. because, you know, He's so positive, you know, and he encouraged me, he motivated me so much. Since I was injured, I could not have time to play. Up to, you know, we moved to Mauritania, he gave me a chance to show out who I am mm -hmm. and to show people why, you know, he selected me when I was injured. So, and I think I was trying to show out, but even though, you know, I was not having a lot of playing time in Hi. Senegal, you know, so. You know, I could not play much more games, mm -hmm. but you know, at the end, I saw out a little bit that I can try to assist the nation us, you know, to achieve our positive results. And thank Allah, you know, we came out with bronze medal, even though we failed to get that, you know, gold and silver. But I think it's end up positive, you know. The Gambians love our results we came with, and they appreciate it. It was so cool, mm -hmm. you know. So. I'm happy for that too. Amazing. Uh, when you went to the um, Afghan competition in Mauritania, and then Wally started playing, Wally started showing um, his true identity to Gambian people, and then people started wondering, people started asking, "Where is this lake from?" I can remember, like, I'll be bluffing and say he's from Talinding yeah. because this is where we, this, this is where he's yeah. from. Yeah. So how is it like representing Talinding, representing your father, you know, representing your mother, representing the people of Talinding to Afcon? Yeah, yeah, like I see it here, you know, it was a big, big, big thing for me, you mm. know, you know, because every football player, you know, young player, take it that level, you know, among of thousand players, you know, you selected, you know, to represent your nation. I think that trust only, you know, it can give you the, the motivation that, you know, you need to play for your nation, you need to work for your nation, you need to do good, you know, just to see your nation, you know, to raise the flag high up there. So, you know, you know, it was so amazing, it was so cool, you know, to represent your nation, you know, it motivates you to be, come, to feel that, you know, you on the right track, you know, to be that, you know, player that who can be the prof top professional level mm -hmm. player. So I think for me, you know, that was best for me. And my people, home people, talented people, you know, they, they're all proud, you know, you know, to see me participating, representing the Gambia, mm -hmm. you know, also the name Talinin. There's likes of Lamarana Jalo also playing for Yeah, I was about light, to come know. there. So he's from Talinin too. Right. So the Talinin people, I think, you know, we're winning. Yeah, we're so, winning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah for sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have seen uh, 
when you were selected, you were selected together with other young talents from different um, divisions. You have the, the, the likes of Ramaraj and Jalo playing for Elites FC United, rather. You have also uh, Momodu Bojang, who was then playing for Brikama United, now in Portugal. We have seen also Kajali Drame playing for Real de Banjul. We have seen other young, amazing players. Mm -hmm. How was it like? seeing other talents being with you and the same thing fighting for one thing yeah the starting of the selection you know the, the very first day of the selection when i had the news that you know they have selected me in the national youth community and i view the list i see a lot of talents amounts of 40 players right. out of thousand players so you know only for that you know it was it was something that you know I was do, I was saying to myself that you know out of thousands I'm in the 40 mm -hmm. so even it's gonna be out of one I will be the one so you know there left a lot of players you know came in selected you know likes of Keba Mane you know he's right. in ports, ports ports number 10 player you know he's he he's was he, yeah, he was the, he, he also there mm -hmm. with us also likes of you know a lot of good players you know even so there's a lot of good players you know we were struggling we all fight we all trying to fight everyone every player there you know what you're looking for to, to secure the place for yourself mm -hmm. also you wanted to fight for the nation so we all were looking on one thing so i think at the end you know i end up surviving mm -hmm. you know seeing myself in the in the league in the team at anywhere we went to so it was so cool, so, you know, so respectful for me, you know, that I have achieved what I set for. So I was, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for that though. And when you see likes of Mohdu Bojang, you know, he fight, he tried to fight for the nation. Mm -hmm. Now he's at that, you know, Portuguese team called Bovista. Likes of Lamarana, Lamarana Jalo, Kajali Drame, a lot of talent there. Baba Sise even, so yeah, Baba there's a lot of talent in the team there, you know. Also, you know, those are those who are not even selected. There's a lot of right. talent there. So, you know, the unlucky people, the unlucky ones, also, you know, they are all luck, they are all talented, even though they could not make it better. But, you know, we were all looking for one thing, and at the end, you know, those who survive like us, you know, we're thankful. I think. So, I think for me, you know, I'm so thankful for that. Amazing. Just to remind you viewers that you're still watching the Youth Bantaba show on Gambian Talents TV and my guest today is none other than the magician. That's what a lot of people call him, like the magician, the star player. That is uh, Wally Banega uh, Fofana. Uh, Wally, so um, we have seen the appointment of Honorable Bakari Baji since he was um, appointed by the president. Um, a lot of things has changed in the Gambia Football Federation system. The way they, they, they were grooming their footballers and now it's different. How do you see his appointment and his performance so far? Yeah, he's, I think he's really doing good, you know. You know, Gambian football, you know, like I, I, like I said before, we, are, we have thousands of talents, mm -hmm. you know, starting from the grassroots up to the senior level team so we have a lot of talent there you know so as you know we all know gambia we are finally qualified for the first time of afcon mm -hmm. you know senior afcon right. so coming in cameroon so i think you know he's doing good mm -hmm. you know so we we gambians we need to support him better and you know also we need to we players you know we 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 need all the motivation from you know them also you know so i think to push each other just to see gambian football to the high level mm -hmm. yeah i think he's really doing and good. what do you think he needs to adjust on to help young young players like you and others yeah for me you know i i think you know on that side you know, i could not say much, much because you know what i'm interested for in football I always say to myself, I just want to play football. I just want to be there. I just want to be best. Mm -hmm. So I need to train. I need to work hard. Mm -hmm. And someday I will be there. So I think, you know, likes of him, they're trying to encourage us. Even when we went for the AFCON, they are with us at any, any anywhere we went to. So for that, you know, when you when you turn around, you see your people, you know. You, you see, feel happy. Yeah, so 
You feel that, like you want yeah, to do yeah, more. So Amazing. That's more than motivation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, how did you see the Gambia Football Federation under the leadership of Lamin Kababaja as well? Yeah, Kaba, I think I need to thank him very so much, you know, for the first time we qualify for the AFCON. And he's the lucky guy, mm -hmm. the, the president of JFF. And, you know, he knows me personal because he, he, he told me personal that, yo, Wally, it is, look. He's a footballer player, he's a kind of professional, just mm. concentrate it, yeah. Right. And you know, he speak Mandinka to me because he know that I'm a Mandinka. Right. But I think, you know, likes of Kaba, you know, they're doing good, you know. Mm. We need to, you know, we all Gambians need to be positive with them, you know, you know, to see how to push things better, better than being negative, you know. So for me, I think he's doing good as well, yeah. I think a, a lot of people will always say this to you. You need to focus, you need to be concentrating in order to be um, the likes of Steve Tarawale. Even In fact, we want you to be bigger than Steve Tarawale. Everyone wants you to be bigger yeah, than Steve sure. Tarawale. You're yeah. also Yeah, yeah no doubt. Good. So, inshallah, it will happen. So, um, how, where are you seeing yourself from now? Um, where where yeah, did you yeah, see yeah, yourself yeah, yeah, in a few yeah. years to come? Yeah, like for now, you know, I think every football player, you know, you you take it some some you take it level that you know you wanted to see yourself. Right, that's true. By, by step, step by step, you know. And for me, you know, I'm trying to I'm 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 trying my best. I'm trying to work hard to see myself, you know, to next 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 level, different from Gambian football league. Cause mm -hmm. I have an interest to play abroad to show out the whole world that who I am. So I think I, 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 I need to see myself, you know, you know, abroad doing good, mm -hmm. showing, you know, the whole world who I am. Yeah, I think every player, you know, that you wish yourself for. Right. So to be that top level, you know, also to represent your nation, senior national team mm -hmm. someday. So I think that I wish, that I'm seeing myself, you know, and that I wish for myself. Also, I wish a lot of young talents, likes of, you know, those I mentioned here, you know, mm -hmm. and those I didn't even mention. So I, I think I wish everybody good luck as well. Amazing. So uh, do you think that the future is bright for um, young talents like you and others in the Gambian football? Yeah, without league? a doubt, without a doubt. You know, like, you know, we see it, Gambian football, I'm with a lot of motivation. Mm -hmm. You know, not we don't have the motivation from those who are there, mm -hmm. but the thing is, you know, when when so ever, you know, the moment comes that mm -hmm. you know, things has to be happen, mm -hmm. you know, like they said, everything happened the, on the right time, you know, like you know, I graduated graduated at Saint Saint Augustine, right. our, our 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 Saint Augustine, you know, we said do the right thing at the right time, right, like right. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. So I think every every moment, you know, whensoever the time came, you know, it will happen. So likes of, you know, Omar Baji, you know, one of my friends, you know, he's playing in Gamtel. Mm -hmm. Likes of Khalifa Mane, he's playing in Gamtel. They're all young players, you know, who can do better. Mm -hmm. You know, even they did not select it in the U20, but, you know, there's a lot of young players that, you know, you can, you can see it. Yo, Kimuna Neka professor. A lot of people in Gambian football, even even the ones are not playing. Even in the third division, when you look, when you watch the games, you know, you will be like Gambian, we have talent. Mm -hmm. So I think there's no doubt that, you know, we can be the professional that we wish ourselves for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if Allah will. So. Inshallah. Um, before we take leave of you, I have two questions from uh, one of your fans. And the first one is, um, what is the biggest secret to your success? Yeah, the big, biggest secret to my success that I wish every football player, you know, that are, in, that, uh, that are, that are, those are in front of me right, right. now, likes of Musa Baro, mm -hmm. likes of one of my friends, Fode Mane, mm -hmm. he's playing in Denmark League, you know, Denmark right now, he was in Real Banyu, mm -hmm. so likes of Pamudi Sona, you know, those people, you know, I was with them with the same group, so whensoever you leave, you move to the next step, you know, look, whensoever I'm praying, I wish you good luck. Because right. I have the belief someday I will be there. Sure. So I think there's no secret that I should even hide. For me, that's my secret. Even. 
so it keeps me moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the second question says, what are you hoping to achieve this season? This season, first of all, you know, I want to see BK Milan on that type four, you know, from the 10 to top four. Mm. I think that's the number one. Number two, you know, I could not say that I'm the best player in the league, mm -hmm. you know, but people been saying, yeah, Wally is the best player in the league. Mm -hmm. And I got that belief that I can be the best player. So I think I need to go back to the ground to work harder, you know, talk less, do more. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, I want to fight, you know, to, 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 to part of the, you know, the goals, the goal scoring, you know, you know, the goals, leading goal, the, the leading goal scorers in the tournament. So, because I, see, yo, when I see the list, you know, I, I will be like, yo, Mamadi is not bother to be there. So, I think you know, those three things, are, mm. it, 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 yo, in those three things are the thing that you know I was like, I was looking, I, I wanted to, you know, achieve on this season. So, are we going to see a new Wali uh, next season, and are we? Um, uh, Will we be hearing good news soon with regards to whether Wally will be having a team outside or what? What is the next step? Yeah, I think, you know, by the grace of Almighty Allah, mm. that will be happen. Because, sure. like I said, you know, I want to be that professional player. Mm. I want to be there. So I wanted to leave from here to be that level. So I think starting from today, I set the goals. And there's nothing more than you know, you set in your rules. Mm. There's, not, there's n nothing more than that, you know. So, I think, you know, there's no need, you know, people will be saying, yo, you're gonna see different world. Whenever you watch me, you're gonna enjoy me. And, you know, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to work hard to do, you know, that and to be on that level. So, I think, you know, I wish myself very good luck, you know, starting from now to next season, you know. So, I think, I also wanted to see myself on that high level. So I think, you know, with the help of my team and Almighty Allah, it can totally, you know, it will happen, inshallah. Amazing. So what's going to be Wally's final message on the show to his uh, fellow young people out there who are playing football and also hoping to become stars like the likes of Steve Tarawale, the likes of Zico, the likes of Oz Jalo, the likes of um, Musa Baro, Musa yeah. Baro yeah. you know. So what's going to be your advice to those people? Yeah, for me, the single advice, it has to be, yo, it has to be, yo, look, yo, we, we have a lot of talent in Ghanaian football. They see, we, mm. okay, those talent, we need to show out our talent, you know. So for me, hard working, it all depends on hard working because there are things that they see, you know, sometimes you may not lucky, mm. but you know, Allah always has best for you. So I think when you work hard, things sometimes, even if it's not come on the right time, you wish for, it may come lately, but mm. it will come whensoever you work for. Because, you know, you, whensoever you feel that you can do this, you try, you keep on working, you keep, to keep on trying someday you will be success mm. so my advice for young players you know likes of you know i named some mm. you know but uh, my, my only advice is gonna be you know we need to be motivating ourselves keep playing you know adjust our concentration mm. keep playing keep playing keep training keep working hard you know stay positive you know you know early someday and who so someday you know we bo we all can be you know the top players mm. you know to move our country to push our country to higher level mm -hmm. so i think you know to thank this so also you know as you do a great job that you know you know i'm here with you maybe another time it's gonna be another passion right. you know to be the players likes of this we need in our country i think you know it's something that we players you know it's push you up, you know, you feel that, yo, now I'm feeling who I am. Mm -hmm. So I need to do more, right. you know, to be another level, you know, different from this one. So I need to thank you also, you know, you know, just to tell the players, the football team, the teams, you know, you know, to keep motivating the young players, you mm -hmm. know. So I think we have a lot of talent, so I keep repeating that. So the talents also we need to show out mm -hmm. by working hard, mm -hmm. you know, so I think, 
That's my talent. advice. Yeah. Amazing. The talents also need to showcase their talent out there. Needs to be focused. You have to go out there um, in full force. Do your thing. This is all what it um, it, it, it entails. Um, if you motivate, you believe in yourself. There is no way you you, you won't succeed. Mm -hmm. So, uh, make here while the show is signing. Uh, this is the Youth Bantaba show with me today. I have the Mac, um, the magician. Um, a lot of people will call him uh, Wali Fofana, who represents the Gambia in uh, Senegal. That was the Wafu competition, and then to um, Mauritania, and. Um, that was the Afghan competition where he stumped the nation with his amazing and brilliant performance. Uh, so uh, he also plays for BK Milan and uh, normally now the stadium is always full when Wali Banega is playing. You will have his fans coming all the way from Brikam, Talindin, Tawakota to come and support this league. Uh, this is all in taste, that is all what it takes to be a star. And Wali, inshallah, I know you definitely be a star. You make a lot of people proud. So until I come you in your way next week with another amazing young person in this country, it's a bye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>